most of high-end items um, are selling like under the table. Uh, it was probably most valuable trophy. Veterans who can brought some stuff back, they did it. Hello everybody, this is War Story Video Blog. I am Alex and here we are in Wilmington Military Antique Show. Uh, here and uh, here is Dave Wyatt. Hello Dave. Hi Alex. Um, it was good to see you here and you, as always you have um, a lot of great stuff and uh, try. yeah and uh, like in our last video uh, we promised to show you some items that Dave uh, found last few months yeah yeah and um, all these items are war souvenirs all these items um, has been brought back by veterans um, Soviet veterans and uh, American veterans uh, from the war and um, that's incredible stuff I'm dying to show it to you and in this video you will see a lot of swastikas but every item with swastika is historical piece and we show it not for propaganda we show it for uh, studying people um, about history about story of uh, the item and sure about the antique stuff because uh, all these items are uh, antiques and collectible so it's not propaganda thing but before we started i would like to ask you how was your show and uh, very how good you doing? very good buying wise was good selling wise was extremely good, very and, um, good. what is the best item um, you sold we sold we sold a double decal ss helmet that sold actually uh, sold yesterday morning as one of the first items that went. It was a very nice helmet. I would have loved to have shown it. Uh, we sold a black SS Kepi. Again, one I would have loved to have shown because it's the only one that I've ever had. I knew was you know was real right off the bat. You will see photos of it on the website. Yeah, we're still going to list it. Pretty high end stuff. It's very high end stuff. Yeah, very high end. And um, here we can see some items. Um, that I asked to show us. And could you explain to our viewers um, what do we have here? So I'll start with the big one. So this, this item is sold. Um, this is a Panzer Swallowtail. It's a regimental, it's pretty much regimental colors. Uh, it's extremely intricately made uh, with you know flat wire tape, embroidered eagle, nice silver Tress. It's 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 really well constructed swallowtail. Um, interesting thing about this is that it was we it was found in Ukraine and it was oh, wow. actually brought out roughly a week before the invasion. Mm -hmm. So it it almost didn't make it out. Yeah. Um, we did get an artillery swallowtail, which is a red version of this. This is a Panzer. Um, finding this color is it is it's it's really tough. Yeah. Stuff. It's a highly desirable because it's Panzer unit. Yeah, that, that's true. And uh, probably it's uh, most uh, difficult to find. It's like Navy, uh, naval uh, standards, but Panzer is like... Wow. Panzer's tough. Yeah. Panzer's You're lucky <laughs> yeah, to find <laughs> it. Yeah, we, yeah, we pay a lot for good yeah. stuff, but... I believe so. We and have it's, to. Um, is there any repairs and... Um, it has a little bit of soiling, but mm -hmm. no repairs. Um, I mean, there's a little bit of spotting here. Yeah. And you can see where it was attached to the pole. Yeah. Um, and they're attached to the pole with brads. It's little tiny brads that stick mm -hmm. into the pole, and that's what holds this to the pole, and it did it one time. Yeah, interesting. And do you know the uh, history of it? Um, or As far as I know, it, it's, it could have been in Russia it, it, or Ukraine. It's, it was take. I believe it was taken back there after the war, yeah. and it probably stayed locally in that area. And the, actually, we have a lot of pictures with um, American GIs and with Soviet soldiers also. Um, and on these pictures, as you see on your screens, uh, soldiers just uh, hold flags and standards. And uh, it was very popular souvenir because, uh, as we told and explained you with um, Bill Reno interview. Uh, it was probably most valuable trophy. It's like uh, drums and uh, yeah. and uh, flags since last thousand years. 
<laughs> oh, absolutely. Probably more. It's like old, old tra tra tradition, like in DNA it's code, very, probably. Uh, yes, and it's very impressive. Did you sold it already? It is sold. Ah, it is yeah. sold. But I'm dying to ask the price, but I will not, because uh, probably it's a secret. And uh, some more items here also, and this one is um, Railway Eagle. Railway Eagle, and it costs uh, 6,000. And uh, it came with a tag from the tag Veteran. Yeah, could you tell us the story about this one? So apparently, now I did not buy this from the Vets family. I bought this from somebody else who did. Mm -hmm. And apparently this is how it came, and it had the little piece of tape on the back, said Souvenir Deutsche Reichsbahn. Um, what's really neat with it is that the swastika is painted, and the background is painted red. Um, you don't see that very often, and I do believe that this is period done. Yeah. But it's a it's a it's a nice eagle, and these be, these are becoming so hard to find. Yeah. Everybody wants one for their collection because they're just really yeah, impressive. Exactly. And uh, there are a few pictures of uh, veterans also with uh, this type of eagle. Um, some of these pictures in front of uh, cars. Uh, yeah, the rail cars. <laughs> yeah, rail cars, and uh, that's very interesting. But this one probably uh, never used. This yeah? one most likely was not. I think this came out of the factory that the studs are never finished. So the only thing with it is it does have the holes in it. It's possible it could have been hung on a wall this way, Yeah, attached with some sort of like a ring, but who knows. Can you imagine this feeling uh, if you surf in Germany and uh, you open old um, probably, how to call it, stuck, yeah, or the depot, and uh, you oh, open, yeah, oh, yeah. And, yes, and you open the box full of thousands. this factory made thousands of them, thousands. but probably not thousands, probably it was hundreds, but uh, it's not enough for all veterans, uh, no. yeah, but that's amazing feeling, I it's, guess. <laughs> I guess so. Yes. It was stuff to them at the time. Yeah. And um, here in the show, I saw a um, really big M16 helmet. Uh, it's like uh, copper made. Ah, yeah, you saw it. I it, did. It, yes, and it's, I want to buy it. <laughs> yeah, but but it cost mm, 15 grand. 15, 15 grand. grand. Yeah. And um, this one has been uh, brought back by American pilot from Kiel. He um, used to surf in Kiel, and uh, he was a pilot of PBY uh, aircraft. It's like boat uh, aircraft, yeah. yeah, and uh, he just brought it uh, back. So veterans who can brought some stuff back, they did it, and uh, if they have uh, cars or ships for... Oh, they transport for, it yes, all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. They brought it all. Yes, and it's very interesting. And where did you find this uh, Railway Eagle? So that, like I said, that came from a friend of mine who got it from the family, and that did from what I've been told, it came out of New York State. Okay. Now, unfortunately, we don't have the family's name. Mm -hmm. well, New York State is a big state, but it's not far from me, actually. Probably um, I will uh, find something else, probably some more railway eagles. Uh, in... Possibly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, could you tell us about this one? So this one came out of a very old collection. We just got this one last month. This is a, this is a nice Waffen SS officer's visor. It's a Kleider Casa, which it means it's an SS contract. The SS produced this themselves, so there's no maker mark inside. Um, it does have a little bit of wear in it. The sweat band is starting to crack, but these things are, again, this is another one. These are becoming very popular, yeah. very hard to find. Has a nice set of, of SS insignia. And how much is it? So this one. We have 15,000 on, which might be a little strong of a price for the condition, but I think it's still a $13,000 hat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's exactly. <coughs> but it actually, just a pair of uh, insignia cost a lot in it that does. condition. Yes. A pair of matching insignia is $3,500, yeah. almost 4000 for some. But it's almost impossible to find it for uh, in, in the set much. In a set, a match yes, set. Match set. That's why the price for the match set is so yeah, high. Exactly. And I would like to ask you this item for my auction for in uh, the end of the month. It will be, and uh, I want to place it on my auction. Yes, because it's really nice condition, and um, I like this form. Because uh, yes, most of them like uh, was in a old box with uh, clothes, and uh, it's like folded. Yeah, 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 bent. Yeah, but this one is really nice. 
Yeah, yeah it's cool. it was a worn hat. I mean, yeah. the guy personalized it. And you see this little crease here, mm -hmm. and that's it's popular at the time. Yeah. The one that's in my collection has the same crease in the same spot. Yeah. It's characteristic of a worn hat. Probably we have to film video with your collection. <laughs> one day. <laughs> one day. One day. Uh, if you want it, please leave a comment and I will uh, show this comment to these comments to uh, Dave and we can ask him to show and share with us uh, his items. Uh, by the way, I have um, one purchase. Uh, I just uh, bought the hate belt here yeah. uh, on a show and I want you to take a look. I bought it for 1000 <coughs> here and um, when I see it, uh, it was like uh, it's too much, you know, it's too much uh, different insignia from um, veterans, from army, from uh, uh, what else, from politic, um, political stuff. But, but this one, you can see, um, how to call this uh, green patina? Oh, verdigris. Uh, uh, yes, yes, and, and you can see it was here since that time, you know. Yeah, yeah. you can see the green interaction between yeah. the belt and it's a copper base because it's an earlier party pin, so mm -hmm. it's a copper-based metal. So it, it interacts with the leather in a way, it, it creates a green gunk. gunk? It's called verdigris. G green gunk? It, it's, it's, we, it's, it's like, I guess that's an American uh -huh. term, but it's it's like a, a green, greenish, it's almost like a like a paste. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. It's very exactly. unique to when, yeah, when, yeah, yeah. when brass-based metals interact with leather over decades yeah and it's it almost a, impossible to to fake it uh, it's it actually is. it's it, impossible it is possible Cause it, yes because if you if you know um, the points you have to see uh, you can see if it's like a fake or and yes. look at that um, that iron cross how it fits oh, here they punched it through yeah 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 that's really neat yeah they took a, a lot of time building yeah, this exactly and this one, the I insignia think, is in immaculate yeah, condition. Yeah. It's and the belt matches the, the 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 condition of the insignia, so it all looks. I really it like looks it. great. Yeah, and um, it's very popular them to make uh, oh. hate belts, hate envelopes, and uh, all stuff holsters. holsters. Uh, sometimes you can see, um, for example, P08 holster with a trace of uh, SS insignia because yes. uh, sometimes veterans uh, place it they there, and uh, yeah, that's. Put in <laughs> there, and uh, that's really cool stuff. So uh, I spent one thousand for it, but I think it's it worth it. I and think it's worth it. Actually, if we just count that. count all um, insignia here, we it will be the same oh, price. Yeah. But this one is like one of a kind thing, so I really like it. No, it's a it's one of the nicest belts I've yeah. se hate belt I've seen. It's in wonderful shape. Thank you, thank you. And um, what else you? can show us because you uh, have really high-end uh, award and uh, could you show us uh, this one so this is an extremely rare award this is actually the first pattern pilot observer badge a lot of guys know it as the air crew um, really wasn't an air crew it was the first pattern pilot observer they only made them for roughly six months it was not a long period of time yeah. it was in 1935 for sure uh, as far as I know, and from the ones that I know exist, there are five in the world. Mm -hmm. No, it is. And this one, um, as I remember, it's like well-known one. Um, and uh, this everybody one is knows well known. It. Yeah. It was owned by two very high-profile dealers over the past mm -hmm. several decades. So mm -hmm. it's, it is it is a well-known piece. Um, but. You know, if you if you under again, and I, in my other, the other videos I've done, if you understand the characteristics of how the the badge company produced their badges, this is Junker produced and only Junker produced. Mm -hmm. You can authenticate one. Yeah, there could be others, but it you know Junker rivets are finished very distinctly. Mm -hmm. it's only Junker did them that way. The catch, the barrel hinge, it's all Junker. These are always CEJ marked, mm -hmm. and usually. The other ones are marked on the back of the eagle. This one is actually marked on the wreath. And, and it's interesting both, how they did Both it. is correct. Uh, yeah. Both variants. You will see. It's that's a correct CEJ for some. Yeah. But you know they didn't make very many of these. Mm -hmm. Luftwaffe at the time really wasn't in existence just yet. So 
Yeah. It's, I mean, Hermann Goering wore this, Erhard Milch wore this, and only a handful of others. Yeah. And uh, how much is that stuff? Because for, uh, for me, awards, it was uh, not like uh, my main focus. Uh, so that's why I try to do my best in learning this yeah. stuff with you guys. So um, how much is that this, one? Well, this one, this well, one is it. sold. Mm -hmm. But I, I ah, can't, dis I ah, can't okay, disclose okay. the price, but it is... But you can guess it. It is significant. Yes, but you can guess how much is it. And um, I think we can see. Is it... You can show me as a secret what is the closest uh, <laughs> answer for Okay. It. But probably... Okay, so that's really nice uh, stuff. And um, actually, I want uh, to pay attention on this I thing that most of high-end items um, are selling like under the table and uh, we have opportunity to see all these deals here um, on this video so i appreciate that uh, well, chance to <laughs> to do that and thank you for it's true. yeah yeah for many that. a lot of the high-end stuff does you're yeah. right and in the end of our interview i would like to ask you about your future plans with uh, collection stuff and um, how market changed uh, changed uh, last probably a few months. In the past few months? Maybe a year. What's the year probably would be easier to answer. Exactly. Um, it's definitely grown. There's a lot more interest in these items. I mean, they're not making they're not making new stuff. They stopped doing this 80 years ago. Mm -hmm. But I do think that I think that what happened with the pandemic is you had a lot of people that were. It, it was. It's a multitude of reasons. You had a lot of people at home. They were buying books, mm -hmm. reading, studying this. They, they, they started to develop an interest in it. Um, some people did very well in the stock market, so they had more money. Mm -hmm. um, there was a lot more money flowing during that time period. So what happened was is you had a lot of people that were either existing collectors or they were, became new collectors and they started buying this stuff. And the prices just began rising and rising and rising. Yeah. I mean, some items have have tripled in value. Some items have stayed still, but for the most part, I think we've seen at least a 40 to 50% increase across the board, regardless of the item. Yeah. From from just, I mean, even a year and a half ago. And what's uh, your opinion? Uh, can it go back or, um, or it's, not? It's always, for it's, it is possible. I don't think there, it, it, there could be a correction. Um, I mean, we saw it in, in the late 2000s. But again, like I said, they're not making more stuff. Yeah, exactly. So, and everybody, there's, there's always going to be an interest in this. This is, this, it's world history. Yeah, sure. You know, so it's, it's not just America and it's Europe and Russia. And we have Asian customers as well. Oh yeah, I saw uh, guys here, they also f interested in and they searching for items and uh, Japanese stuff and German stuff and Soviet stuff also. And um, about that correction, I uh, understand um, what you're talking about. And as I remember, uh, that correction um, touched only high-end items, like uh, items uh, that cost more than 50 grand. Uh, and uh, with items like <coughs> 10,000, um, they grown up just stop in a 08 or 09 and then uh, start grow up they did uh, stay I mean, well it's like assess daggers and uh, assess, assess swords, daggers and knights crosses yeah. honestly the high-end items have really they've stayed yeah you can't everybody loves high-end sure that's what sure. i we, we we really try to get some of the best items that we can we pay very well for them because i mean that's I, I don't ever like to use the term investment, mm -hmm. just, just, bec it's just because, but that is, yeah. that is your investment. Yeah, you exactly. buy the best that you can. Thank you. Thank you. And um, what about plans? Future plans? Uh, do you have any projects with collection you want to buy? Um, if it's secret, don't tell it. <laughs> no, we are working <laughs> on a few. Yeah. We are. And uh, what kind? Uh, well, there's a, there is an old collection we're working on. There is hats and... and a multitude of things um, it just they have various things a little bit of everything really yeah cool a lot of the older collections have that cool and um, in the end of the show show is uh, almost over in the end of the show I would like to pick some items for uh, my website for uh, for auction and I will show it to you in my Instagram account and my in 
Telegram account also. Uh, you can see it uh, under the video and um, you can see website of uh, Dave White and um, if you have questions just leave a comment or go to website and ask. And please leave comments if you have any question to Dave and uh, if you have any ideas for next interview, for themes of next interview. Probably you would like to know more about Luftwaffe badges or uh, about uh, Panzer Assault badges. Uh, just let us know and we will try to film something else. We definitely will. Yeah. So thank you very much for uh, your interview. Thank you for showing and share uh, this story for uh, us um, thank you guys for watching this video until the end press subscribe button and uh, bell button it's also important to um, receive all uh, notification you have to press um, bell button and uh, press then all notification uh, sign it's important uh, don't miss next uh, day fight interview so thank you all guys thank you very much thank you see Alex. you good next to see you. time good to see you